Okay. What about any of those other guys who are out? Are any of those long term with Jalen and Kyle Phillips or any of those guys like maybe out for the year or anything? Not right now, so we'll try to figure out where they are and the whole thing. So we're working diligently on what they're going to do. So. Okay. How, how important is it just for everybody to, to get a win at this point, to have something kind of tangible to put your hat on? I don't on? think it has anything to do with that at this point. It's always important to get a win. So there's not, you don't say it's good at this time as opposed to another time. So you need to get a win. So. It doesn't, it doesn't increase the importance five games in to get one since you don't have one? No, I don't think anything does. I think it's important to win your first game. Right. So it's, it's all important. I don't, we don't categorize things. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe that's the right story, but that's not the way we approach things. So we're trying to win every single day and every single week. So that's what our approach is. How have you we don't say there's a bigger emphasis this week because we didn't win last week. So. How have you felt the guys have kind of maintained their, their work ethic, Players their attitudes? Been great. They've had, they, they come out here every day to work. Um, they know they control their attitudes and their efforts, and their attitudes and efforts have been fantastic. Um, Quinton said that he felt like the locker room just had a different vibe after the Washington game. Did you pick up on that at all? I don't know what that means. No. He, he just said, like, uh, he thought that, I think his exact words were, I saw a, glim a glimpse of hope. Like, he, he felt like everyone was a little bit re-energized by, by the effort, at least, against Washington. I mean, I think there's hope all the time in this program, so I never felt like we didn't have hope, so. How do you go about maintaining the upward trajectory? I mean, I think a lot of people would say Oklahoma was a step forward and then Fresno was a step back. I think because you guys are writing stories about step forwards and step backs. I don't, yeah. I've never been around a team that talks about step forwards and step backs. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we're trying to have a good Wednesday. That's where our approach is. So we're, we, we look very micro, not macro. Mm -hmm. you know, we don't look over the whole season and say, let's win this game and mm -hmm. we may lose that game. We just we try to have a good Wednesday. That's as far as our vision has gone as – What's this training session going to look like? So we, we're not we're not writing stories. So we're playing football. Boston's biggest impact. What would you say it's been since he's come back? Biggest impact? I mean, I just he's playing football, so it's good to have him back. So I, I couldn't give you one thing over another thing. But, so. but I mean, I guess what is how has he changed the dynamic of, of not just the offensive line but the running game? I don't have an answer to that one either. Okay. I mean, we don't look at it that way. I look okay. at is Boss doing the right thing on, on this play? Boss doing the right thing. On this play, he didn't do the right thing. Mm -hmm. So how do we correct that? But mm -hmm. Again, I think you're asking a lot of macro questions. So we don't sit as a staff when we're going over and grading film about, all right, now when we're done, tell us about Boss's impact on this. It's how did Boss grade out? You know, mm -hmm. he had 63 snaps and 50 positive, 13 negative. What were the 13 negatives? Were there recurring thing? Was it a front identification, was it a hand placement thing, and then what do we got to do to help Boss become a better player? But we don't talk about impacts or who's this or what's the emotional feeling and well-being or all that other stuff. We're just mm -hmm. trying to get better as individuals. So. What challenges does Cal present? Um, you know, they're, they, they're similar to us defensively, um, so they're, they're going to get in and out of three down and four down, um, and they do a really good job of mixing their packages. Um, so you got to be really cognizant of what they're in while they're out there because um, they bring certain things out of certain things. So we uh, got to make sure we, we've got a great understanding of what they're doing. Um, and then offensively, Bo Baldwin, who came down from Eastern Washington, is they're, they're really wide open on the offensive side of the ball. They've played multiple quarterbacks. Um, they, there's really the threat of quarterback run with design quarterback runs where they're just going to snap the ball to the quarterback and he's going to take off and run. So that's the design play. Um, so the quarterback run, I think, will be featured a little bit more than we've seen from anybody else we played this year. This new fair catch rule, has it changed the game at all in your perspective? I don't know if it's changed the game. I mean, it's just if you fair catch, you get the ball to 25. So if you're just trying to make decisions of would the return get you out to the 25. If the, you don't think the return's going to get you out to the 25, then you should probably fair catch it. Starting in the Colorado game, Demetri Felton started to see some more snaps. Uh, what do you see from him in practice? Because I know you, you talk about practice. Yeah, so he's really stepped up. Um, you know, Felt's a, a young guy that's pretty dynamic with the ball in his hands. Uh, he had a really good game against Colorado. I thought he played really well against Washington. Had two big catches for us. Um, but if you also understand his impact on special teams, had a big tackle for us on teams. Um, so he's doing a lot of different things. He's playing uh, receiver for us both inside and outside. And then he's, he's, he's had a real big impact on special teams. What's the focus on third down defense just to make sure you guys get off the field on some of those long drives? Well, it's a combination of coverage and rush. So, you know, how are we, where are we, where are we coverage-wise in terms of what route combinations and concepts are they running, and then how are we going to get home with a pass rush?